For artificial insemination or intrauterine insemination, the woman who has chosen to become the mother will have to undergo mild ovarian stimulation. This involves hormonal medication taken by the woman to develop and mature one or two of her eggs. This process will be monitored by ultrasound to check the development. And when these eggs are ready, ovulation will be induced again by hormones, often by a hormone shot administered by your doctor. And at a set period after this shot, ovulation will occur and the woman will be ready to undergo the artificial insemination. The donor sperm, given perhaps by a known donor or by anonymous donor, will be prepared in the laboratory, will be capacitated in the laboratory, and then will be placed by a catheter into the recipient woman's uterus, where hopefully fertilization will take place, followed by implantation. You will then have to undergo the dreaded two-week test, two-week wait, sorry, often known as the beta wait, before you can take the pregnancy test to see if the treatment has been successful or not. The process of artificial insemination is a relatively simple technique. It doesn't require anesthesia and will take place in your doctor's surgery. You can usually go home and carry on a normal life afterwards while you await your pregnancy test.